Hello, my name is Reginald, and welcome to another edition of Microsoft Office Access 2007 tutorial. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create a query that selects fields from different tables. This will be accomplished by meeting the following objectives. Use the Microsoft Northwind Traders database. Use the simple query wizard. Use the following tables and fields listed below. From the suppliers table, we'll use the company, first name, last name fields. And from the purchase orders table, we'll use the submitted date, creation date, approved date, and the notes field. Then we're asked to name the query suppliers purchase query. And finally, we'll view and verify our results. Well, let's get started. Let's open up Microsoft Office Access 2007 and the Northwind Traders database. Well, here we are. Let's first scroll over to the navigation pane and let's come up to all access objects and let's select tables. Let's verify that our two tables even exist. So let's scroll down and see if we can locate them. Well, here the purchase orders table is. And here the suppliers table is. Well, our tables do exist, so let's get busy. Let's scroll all the way up to the top of the screen and let's locate the create tab. And here it is right here. Let's click on it. Now let's scroll down a little ways and let's go to the right until we locate the other tab. And here it is right here. Let's go up a little to the left and let's select the Query Wizard tab. And now let's come to the New Query dialog box and let's select Simple Query Wizard. And let's come down below and let's click on OK. Now let's come up to where it says Tables and Queries and let's select our first table which is the suppliers table. So let's scroll down until we locate it. And here it is right here so let's select it. And now let's come to where it says available fields and let's come down and find until we locate company. And here it is. Let's click on the single right arrow. And now let's locate first name. And once again, click on the single right arrow. And finally, we'll locate the last name, which is right here. And once again, click on the single right arrow. Now we were asked to bring information in also from the purchase orders table. So let's go back to where it says tables and queries. And let's change tables so now let's scroll down until we locate the purchase orders table and here it is right here so let's select it and now let's look for the submitted date field which is right here and click on the single right arrow and now we're looking for the creation date field which is right here. Let's select it. Once again, click on the single right arrow. And now we're looking for the approved date. So let's scroll along and see if we can locate it. And here it is right here. So let's select it. And once again, click on the single right arrow. And we have one more field, the notes field. So let's locate it. And here it is right here. And once again, let's select the right single arrow. And now let's come down below and let's click on next. And it asked us right here, would you like a detail or summary query? Well, we'd like a detail. So let's uh, leave this selected as it is. And it says that it'll show every field of every record. And let's come down below and let's click on next and up here it says what title do you want 
for your query? Well, we were asked to name our query Supplier's Purchase Query. So let's do that. And let's come down below. It says, do you want to open the query or modify the query's design? Well, we want to open the query so we can verify our results. So let's leave this selected as it is. Open the query to view information. And let's come down below and let's click on finish and verify the results of our new query. And here we have it. This is our query. Let's take a moment to examine it. First, the name, suppliers, purchase query. And we have the company, first name, last name, submitted date, creation date, approved date, and notes. Well, our query looks fantastic. Praise the Lord. This has been another Microsoft Office Access 2007 tutorial with Reginald. Thank you.